current residential real estate market conditions in and around Salt Lake City. It's really the most unique market I've ever seen, and it's also one of the more normal, particularly seasonally normal markets that I've ever seen. I promise you that does make sense, and here's why. On seasonal variation, the reason I say it's normal, we are seeing exactly what we've seen the last few years right now in the first week of November. To be more specific about that, I like to look at both supply and demand. So on inventory levels, the last few years, we've hit an inventory low from an extremely low point in, uh, in roughly March of the year. And that habitually increases week over week, minus a couple few weeks, outlier weeks, usually because of holidays, that happens every single week until early to mid November. And this year, in the first week of November, it is the first week in quite some time that I've seen a, I mean, it's just a slight drop, but I was expecting to see a higher inventory this week than last week, a decline in inventory levels for how many residential homes are on the market, like I mentioned, for the first time in quite some time. So that might just be a blip and we might still see them continue to increase the inventory that is over the next little bit through the holidays. Um, but I think highly likely we will start to see the typical seasonal variation of an inventory decline into the holidays. And if that continues on the same pattern that we've seen in the last few years, that's going to continue through the winter and not turn until the flowers come out in the spring. So kind of interesting. On the demand side, I know we all read the same articles about how nationally we're probably going to see 4 million or maybe slightly less home sales um, in the United States, which is like the floor of what's possible just for people needing to move, which is why most people do things. Um, but here locally, just to use Salt Lake County as the example, things are humming along. You know, we're seeing 850 to 950 residential home sales every single 30 day period. This is just in Salt Lake County, just using that as the example. That's a pretty decent demand. Just for reference, during the mega boom times, which didn't last as long as people think, um, roughly four months and five months respectively in 2021 and 2022, that number ranged from about 900 to 1300. So kind of on the low end of the bracket, if you will, of what we saw during the mega booms. So things are moving along. When you put those two curves together, we're seeing absorption rates that are inching towards a normalized market between buyers and sellers, but actually are slightly tilted towards sellers, meaning that there's just more demand than there is supply. Where things become unique is the massive variance, bigger than I've ever seen in my entire career. This is my 14th year in the business of what different houses, different properties, different neighborhoods are accomplishing versus other ones. So specifically some, you probably noticed this, they list on the market and sell right away sometimes after multiple offers. I've actually sold two properties in the last 30 days that received multiple offers. It does still happen. And others, I can share some stories about this as well. They list, they sit on market, they habitually reduce their price. Fun fact, 13% of the current market in Salt Lake County reduced its price in the last seven days. Um, and sometimes they do not sell. We call them expired listings. We are seeing quite a few of those these days. Not an influx, but quite a few expireds out there. So massive variance in what people are getting. So things are humming along, which means if you're listing and selling your house, if you're doing that strategically, you are going to sell. And probably roughly at the number that you're looking for, if you're looking for market value, that is. Um, and for buyers, there are opportunities out there now. Not every house is an opportunity. Make sure that your agent, I mean, if that's me, that's great. I would love to help you. If you have another agent, that is also wonderful. Um, glad you're in good hands, but make sure that your agent is walking you through which ones can be the opportunity and which ones are very likely to see a competitive demand pool where you're probably bidding against other people or trying to get it under contract before someone else does probably in the very near future. So make sure you're analyzing that demand in your approach, but there are some serious opportunities out there in the next couple months, really kind of fun. So interesting marketplace that is so normal but at the same time so unique i know that sounds weird but in my mind that absolutely makes sense 
just an interesting space. But anyways, if there is anything at all that I can do to help you, I would be deeply honored to do so. Um, even if that's just answering small little questions, like I mentioned, it is a unique space. So I would love to speak to that if that helps you at all. Or of course, down the line too, if you'd like to schedule a confidential, non-obligatory strategy, strategy session, would love to do that for you as well. You know, us agents in this industry have a bad reputation for high pressure sales of setting a listing agreement in front of you and just staring at you until you sign it. I assure you, I will not do that. It has to be a mutual fit for kind of interviewing each other. So, um, yeah, anything at all that I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.